What's up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Shaz Corner. On today's episode, I will cover my expectations for Nate Bjorkman as the head coach of the Indiana Pacers. Let's get into it. If you are anything like me, you are wondering, how did Nate Bjorkman get the head coaching job for the Indiana Pacers? I mean, like, who is this guy? And where on earth did he come from? Well, I'm glad you asked. Nate began coaching in the D League under coach Nick Nurse for the new expansion team, the Iowa Energy. The Iowa what? It wasn't until 2015 that Nate was presented with an opportunity to be an assistant coach under Jeff Hornacek and the Phoenix Suns. Nate held multiple roles as the player development coach and they allowed him to coach the Phoenix Suns Summer League team. When Jeff Hornacek was fired from the Phoenix Suns in 2016, Nate tried to be the head coach, but the Phoenix Suns decided to hire former NBA player Earl Watson. Lucky enough for Nate, Coach Earl Watson kept him on the coaching staff and allowed him to continue to coach the Phoenix Suns Summer League team. By 2017, Nate was asked to step down due to poor performance. How you have poor performance on the summer league team? (laughs) Hmm. After being a disaster in Phoenix, Nate landed a job in the scouting department with the Toronto Raptors. I think it's important to note that Nate Bjorkman worked under and formed a very close friendship with coach Nick Nurse back in the day between somewhere around 2007 and 2011 when they both were coaching the Iowa Energy D-League team. And it comes as no surprise that coach Nick Nurse would recruit Nate Bjorkman to the Toronto Raptors to be his assistant coach. Clearly, it's all about who you know and not what you know. Mm -hmm. Up until joining the Toronto Raptors coaching staff, Nate's only success was winning the D-League championship under Nick Nurse in 2011. You cannot tell me the NBA coaching pool was that dry that they had to go and find Nate Bjorkman. I I don't care what you say. You you cannot tell me that. How did Nate Bjorkman get a job on the Toronto Raptors coaching staff without someone pulling for him? Would that have even been possible? I don't think so. During Nate's first season with the Toronto Raptors, we all know the leaders of the North won the 2019 NBA championship with the help of Kawhi Leonard and Marc Gasol and Cal Lowry and Serge Ibaka. So it seems to me that Nate only has success when he's paired with Nick Nurse. I hope he has learned how to manage a team because now he's on his own in Indiana and NBA All-Star Victor Oladipo has already made it known that he wants out of the losing franchise. The good thing about Nate Bjorkman is he's really young. At age 45, he already has 14 years of coaching experience. Having won the NBA championship just recently with the Raptors, I'm pretty sure that raised his stock in the pool of candidates to coach the Indiana Pacers. However, I have my doubts about Nate's ability to coach. According to Larry Bird, Nate is known for his positive communication skills. Let's see how positive Nate is when he sees his roster after the 2020 free agency period. (laughs) Without Victor Oladipo, I'm looking at Malcolm Brogdon and TJ Warren as the most talent on the roster. And that is not going to take you very far. The Indiana Pacers will be lucky to make the NBA playoffs in the week east. And Bjorkman, you better have Nick Nurse's number on speed dial. All right, you guys, that wraps up this episode of my expectations for Nate Bjorkman as the head coach of the Indiana Pacers. It ain't looking very good to me. And the fans at the Indiana Fieldhouse, they don't play around. So he better have a coaching scheme ready to go day one of the NBA season. All right. Well, you guys, if you like this sort of content, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Make sure you engage me in the comments. Let me know what you think about Nate Bjorkman. Is he ready to lead a franchise or would he be better off as an assistant coach somewhere? You know what I mean? Anyways, thank you all for tuning in and I will see you on the next one. See ya.